What's good YouTube, Viewer Fantasy and welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the downsides of doing a cut because it isn't all in fun and games and getting lean. So sit back, relax and enjoy because without any further ado we're gonna jump straight into the video. So in the last year I didn't make a cut. I went for a controlled and slow bulk during two years and now this year since April I've been trying to lean down bit by bit by doing a slow and controlled cut. But doing a cut is not as easy as it seems. It has some downsides to it. And since April I've already lost 8 kilos. I went from 73 kilos to 65 kilos. That's what I'm weighing right now at the moment. So I've basically lost 2 kilos per month since April and I'll probably not drop any further in weight from now on even though my physique is not looking the way I wanted it to be looking and that's basically because of the downsides of doing a cut. While performing a cut without any doubt if you are not using any kind of drug you'll be losing muscle mass alongside while you're dropping body fat. It's impossible for you to lose only body fat without any loss in muscle mass. Of course, you can minimize the muscle mass loss by having a good diet plan and a good workout plan. But most of the work will be done on the diet. You should do a slow and controlled cut, only cutting a few calories at a time. Because that way you can make sure that you are not having a big shock on your diet and on your physique. Because if you cut a lot of calories at once, your body will get used to it quickly and you'll probably not have any more calories to cut even further and you'll suffer a big shock because you have cut your energy intake by a lot at once and you'll feel it in your workouts. But even though if you do the diet part right and the workout part right, doing a cut still has a lot of downsides. As I've told you, I've already lost 8 kilos and not all of those 8 kilos was body fat. I've already lost some muscle mass. And that can affect you also mentally because you'll be looking on the mirror and be seeing that you lost some size. And not only that, but the people at the gym will also say that you have lost some size and you have lost some arm, you have lost some chest and you're getting smaller. And that can influence you mentally because you'll be thinking I'm getting small, I need to bulk up again. And you'll be end up throwing your cut out of the window because you'll be basically compromising your cut by doing a bulk during your cut. Other than mentally, this will also influence you physically because by losing mass, either it be muscle or fat, you're still losing mass because mass moves mass. And if you are losing a lot of weight, you'll be losing a lot of strength and your ability to lift heavier weights will start to drop and that can also influence you mentally because you'll be getting weaker week after week and losing a lot of strength and you'll not be capable of lifting the weights that you were lifting before. Another problem while doing a cut is comparing your body fat percentage with another person's body fat percentage because you can have the same body fat percentage as another person and not look exactly like that person. It all depends where your body will store your fat because I can be at 8% body fat and having a torso that looks like this not that shredded a little bit lean but not that shredded and you can be at the same body fat percentage and have a torso completely shredded and why? because not everybody stores fat in the same spots your body can store fat on your legs and therefore you will have a leaner torso and in the other end your body can store fat on your torso and you'll have super lean legs. So body fat percentage will not give you that physique that another person has. For example me, the first spot where I lost body fat was here on the sides. A lot of people told me that when I started my cut. But on the other end, my side chest haven't lost that much body fat since the beginning. I've been in my cut for 4 months and my side chest haven't really got that much leaner. I've gained some definition on my core, 
my lower chest, my triceps and my shoulders, but my side chest haven't lost that much body fat. My legs got a little bit leaner too, but in any part of my body I'm completely shredded. I don't know exactly at what body fat percentage I'm at at the moment, but even though I've already lost 8 kilos, I'm not by any means shredded. I got leaner, but I'm not shredded. And I'll probably not get shredded at least this year, because I'm already really low on weight. I'm only weighing 65 kg, with a height of almost 1.8 meters. So, as you can see, I'm pretty low on my weight. And the final problem on my list is having to sacrifice a lot of your food intake. By no means you have to sacrifice to eat what you love, but you have to reduce it considerably. You'll be lowering your calories in order to lose body fat, and that will come in the form of losing a lot of food intake. You'll need to be eating less quantity, less carbohydrates and less fat, bumping up your protein so you can keep your muscle mass, and you'll end up losing most of the energy that you had before, and of course that will impact your workouts as well. Right now my calories are sitting just below 2000 calories and that's not much food at all considering that my bowl of oats has almost 1000 calories and if I want to hit a bowl of oats that will basically cost me half of my daily calorie intake. So you have to play well with your diet and choose wisely where you're getting your calories from and most of all getting it from clean sources so you can fuel your body with clean food and achieve the best physique that you can achieve. So that's most of the problems that I have at the moment. Of course there are a lot of worse problems that come while you get deeper and deeper into your cut but there are a lot of other YouTubers that have already done videos about it and the first one on YouTube that have talked about this was Marian from Student Aesthetics and if you haven't seen that video you can search it up on his channel because it is a really famous video of him talking about a big problem while doing a cut and getting really lean. I haven't faced that problem yet, as I've told you I'll probably not face it this year because I'll not be getting any leaner that I am at the moment. So that's basically it for today, I hope you all enjoyed this video, if you did don't forget to drop me a like, also to consider subscribing so you don't miss my next video coming next week. Also comment down below what I should do next, as always thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.